Hi there, welcome to my views and news. Three news stories. Firstly, views uh, have the students kidnapped in Romania been released or not? Because uh, yesterday we heard statement from the Ethiopian uh, Romania government spokesperson that the majority of them uh, has been freed. So, what is the latest situation? Secondly, Volkait views. It seems that uh, at the African Union Pretoria implementation review meeting decisions have been made about Volkayat. And thirdly, uh, Farah Malim, Kenyan member of parliament who uh, is very vocal supporter of Somalia against Ethiopia, has been fired from some key positions because of uh, some recent remarks passed by the MP. Firstly, viewers, uh, students uh, around 167 students of Debar University were kidnapped near Gebre Guracha town in North Shore zone of the Oromia region around a week ago. Three buses. Uh, were stopped by militants in Gebre Guracha. Uh, two uh, could not escape, one managed to escape, and uh, the students were kidnapped. Some managed to escape, but most of the students they were kidnapped by an armed group. Since then, international media has been highlighting this issue, asking the government to secure the release of these students. Human Rights Commission of Ethiopia also spoke on that. Uh, U.S. Embassy in Ethiopia issued a statement. Yesterday, Hailu Adugna, Romia regional government spokesperson, gave a press statement. And he claimed that 160 out of 167 students have been uh, recovered. Uh, and it happened because of action from Ethiopian security forces, Romia regional security forces. He accused the Oromo Liberation Army that it was Ola which was behind this kidnapping incident. Ransom was being demanded. Families of the kidnapped uh, youths were collecting money to pay ransom to abductors. Now, the government claims that 160 have been recovered, but families are complaining that still their loved ones did not return. So, what is the situation? Who is speaking the truth? It's difficult to say. We'll have to wait because according to some government officials, the uh, abductees have been recovered. They are being sent back their families. But uh, how long will it take for these abductees to join their families? Did Hailu Edogna try to cover up the situation by showing a statement that majority of the students has been released? Or was he not fully aware of the facts on the ground? Whatever the reason is, I think his thing will be clear in coming hours. Let's wait a little. Obviously, if uh, students are recovered from the grip of an armed group, uh, it takes time to make them join their families. Uh, so maybe they're being kept at an ENDF camp and they're being uh, gradually uh, sent back. We'll have to wait. If Helu Adigna issued a wrong statement, he should apologize. It's a serious issue, sensitive issue. Families are concerned. They are raising money on their own as uh, to pay as ransom. They don't want their children to be killed uh, because of wrong statement. I think Hailu Adigna should issue an update. Uh, where are the 160 students who have been recovered? Secondly, viewers, uh, some decisions have been made at the African Union led Pretoria Deal Implementation Review Meeting. 
held in Addis Ababa, attended by all the parties to the Tigray war, federal government, Tigray government. Uh, then mediators were here too, African Union observers. Uh, uh, from the U.S., Mike Hammer came. From EU, two representatives attended. They uh, uh, made some decisions about the remaining issues. One of the remaining unresolved issue is Volkai, the return of IDPs to Volkai. It was Tadasse Varede, Tegara military commander, who a few months ago said that by the end of first week of July, the issue of uh, Ulkayet will be solved. Uh, so at the meeting in Addis Ababa, a decision has been made for the speedy return of IDPs to Ulkayet. Just like IDPs have returned, they are returning to their homes in Salamti, peacefully, smoothly. Largely, it was a peaceful operation because local elders were taken on board. Reportedly, the meeting participants uh, showed their satisfaction with the way IDPs are returning to Salamti and they want it, and they want the same pattern to be repeated uh, in Volkai too. Uh, understanding has been reached. So in coming days, you could see start of return of IDPs to Volkayet reportedly. Pegarai raised the issue of the presence of Eritrean military. U.S. also spoke, Mike Hammer, about the issue of presence of Eritrean military in Tegarai. Eritrea denies it says its military is not in Tegarai. Its military is deployed on Eritrean sovereign land and that the uh, Ethiopia Eritrea Boundary Commission decision of 20 or 2 has been implemented. Eritrea is not in occupation of even an inch of any country's territory. But this issue was raised. Let's see. The so coming days, crucial views. I think in coming days, we could see the start of return of IDPs to Volkayet. Will Damake Zadu, Shatha Damlio, let government. Uh, continue functioning or will be dismantled, that way to be seen. Thirdly, was Farah Malim, Kenyan member of parliament, vocal supporter of Somali against Ethiopia, is a Somali, uh, is under fire. He has been fired from some key positions. He made an irresponsible remark about the protests in Kenya. Uh, it was attributed to him that he said that he would kill 5,000 protesters daily if he were the president of Kenya. Uh, he uh, denied uh, having said that. He said that his statement was edited. The video attributed to him was edited. But his party has taken action. It seems that he said all that. That is why party has taken action. Viper party of which he is deputy leader has fired him from the position of deputy leader. Secondly, the party uh, has requested the parliament to remove Farah Malim from all the positions, leadership positions he holds in the parliament. Thirdly, National Cohesion and Integration Commission has called him. He will appear there on Thursday and explain what he said. The man is in trouble. Uh, let's hope can he manage to retain his position as a member of parliament. Uh, but he needs to watch what he says. Sometimes he takes very strong positions, especially in, in, during uh, the ongoing Ethiopia Somali attention to he called, he, he tried to uh, fuel the tension. He asked uh, Somali regional presidents to rise. He said Somalis from Kenya will come to fight. As a member of parliament, you have every right to express your opinion, but you need to be careful. You need to be diplomatic. I think uh, choice of words matters a lot. No one uh, wants to stop Paramalim from giving his opinion about Ethiopia, Somali, but he needs to be careful in terms of use of words.
and perhaps that is why he is suffering because his choice of words has been very good response.